Hey, this is Tuxedo Mark, and welcome to another episode of Vlogtron, the Voltron Vlog. I'm reviewing Line Force Season 2, Episode 2, Envoy from Galaxy Garrison. And, uh, nothing of consequence happens. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, um, this is a filler episode. Um,. Okay, alright. Uh, first, there's stuff on Planet Doom arguing between uh, Salator or Soltar, whatever he's called, and that Kassok or Kosak, that new guy, and Prince Lotor, and Salator wants to replace Lotor, and eventually, and but Hagar's got a new scheme with a new Robies to take over Planet Air or dis defeat the Voltron Force. Blah blah blah. Same old, same old. I didn't notice it, but apparently, according to the article on the wiki, it's a new Castle Doom that looks nothing like the old one. Honestly, I didn't even notice. But I guess since the old one was destroyed in the season one finale, this is a new one. Okay. Uh. On Planet Eris, uh, a representative from Galaxy Garrison on Earth has been sent to Eris. It's some big shot general. There's never name, I don't think, and the article says he, he's never mentioned by name. Okay, whatever. Anyway, he's voiced by Peter Cullen, who kind of sounds like Ironhide in this episode. Um... Also, Peter Cullen does some narration at the beginning and end of the episode, but anyway. Um, so this guy is taking direct command of the Voltron Force. And he thinks the pilots are too young, they're not training enough, blah blah blah. They should re be replaced with adult pilots, and uh, anyway. Um, also, there's a party. Uh, they, they have a party in his honor. All of the guys want to dance with Allura, but Allura's dancing with Koran. She takes a break just to come over to them and say that she feels like dancing and they get all excited and then she's like, with Koran! And she goes back and dances with Koran again, so... And then later on, she laments that she didn't get to dance with the boys. It's like... She could have split her time among all of them. I, I don't know. Uh, there's some antics with the mice. Pidge runs into Nanny. Yeah, Nanny shows up. Even though I think the wiki says she never showed up again after uh, Coran's son runs amok. But, yeah, she makes a really quick cameo in this episode. Doesn't even say anything, it just goes, <gasps> or something like that. But, yeah, Nanny's still alive in Voltron continuity. But, honestly, this episode could have occurred any time after Lotor's introduction, because... Well, okay. Alright, I mean, Romel and Spin aren't in it. So, but Kassok or Kosak or whatever his name is, is. So I guess, yeah, it does have to occur after season one. But I mean, other than that new guy, that new bad guy, that this episode could have occurred any time during season one because it, it's filler. Roby's the tax. The general, who, by the way, takes control of the command center with their approval, I guess. Um, he forbids them to form Voltron because he thinks they're relying too much on it and they have to use military tactics and blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Um, eventually, Ga Galaxy Garrison calls in, relieves him of command, and puts Keith back in charge. So Keith's like, form Voltron! And they form Voltron, and they beat the Robeast, and then they see the general off, and Koran talks about what they've learned, and blah, 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 and that's it. 
Um, closing credits are the mostly full length closing credits, except they remove the shots of the ground shots of the team in the uniform. All right, I want to talk about some specific like cosmetic changes. Um, in the season two episodes, uh, Corant's hair is a darker brown. Allure's hair is a, like a golden, like or like a darker blonde, almost brown. Pidge's green uniform and green line, or I I, I think Pidge is supposed to have a green uniform. Yeah. Anyway, it's it's like basically black, pretty much. Both the line and the uniform. Um, they still call it the green line, though. Um, all right, so uh, they they don't uh, show the stock footage of them going in their shuttles to the Lions. So this is the second episode in a row that they haven't done that. They show like Alora running toward I guess what's supposed to be the the passage to the shuttles or whatever. It doesn't have a four above it, I don't think, but anyway. Uh she talks about heading for the Lions and but then we just see them piloting the lines. They, they don't use any of that stock footage. They use the stock footage of the forming Voltron sequence. Um, and there you can see that the green line is green. Um, yeah, th that's about it. Really Nothing else to say uh, about this episode. That's it. Thanks for watching.